The frantic two-day search for actress Jennifer Hudson's missing nephew ended this morning with the worst possible outcome, the discovery of an SUV missing from the crime scene with a boy's body inside. We can confirm that the body located inside the vehicle was the body of seven-year-old Julian King. The little boy was reported missing Friday afternoon when his mom, Julia Hudson, came home to find him gone and her mother, Darnell Donerson, and brother, Jason Hudson, shot to death. By nightfall, Julia's estranged husband, ex-con William Balfour, was in custody, though not yet charged. But there was no sign of the boy, prompting this heartbreaking plea. Just let my baby go, please. Jennifer Hudson has remained in seclusion since returning to Chicago late Friday, although she did put up a $100,000 reward for the safe return of Lil Julian. The tragedy comes at a time when the Oscar-winning Dreamgirls star was living the dream. Not only I can do it, but you can do it too. A hit single on the music charts, a newly released movie, but she still relied heavily on her close-knit family and her faith to help stay grounded. Faith is very important in her life, and hopefully that faith will pull her through what is an unimaginable tragedy. Many in the inner city say these high-profile slayings will help put a face on frightening statistics. With at least 429 homicides already this year, Chicago is the nation's murder capital, ahead of both New York and Los Angeles. For the most part, a lot of us got desensitized, which is not a good thing. Sadly, gunshots are so common here that when they rang out Friday morning, no one bothered calling 911, and that ended up giving the killer what amounted to a seven-hour head start with his little captive, Julian King, in tow. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.